Luther died, apparently of a massive heart attack, on February 18, 1546. He remained a staunch confessor to the end. When he was on his deathbed, his friend Justice Jonas asked him if he wanted to die standing on Christ and on the doctrine he had taught. In a firm voice, the answer came back, yeah. This is a life-size and full-figure wooden model done not long after Luther's death. From it, a bronze plaque of the same size was made to cover Luther's tomb. This wooden model is impressively painted, although the present coloring comes from the 17th century. It shows Luther in his academic gown and holding a book with a Luther rose above his shoulder. The inscription framing the likeness of Luther was provided by his colleague Philip Melanchthon. However, neither this wooden model nor the bronze grave plaque made from it ever reposed in Wittenberg. The model stayed in Erfurt, and the plaque eventually got to Jena. Luther's pastor, John Bugenhagen, preached the funeral sermon. He did not hesitate to identify Luther with the angel from Revelation 14 who had an eternal gospel to proclaim to all who dwell on earth. Philip Melanchthon, who had delivered many declamations on other great men, got up and gave a eulogy. He set Luther in the line of proclaimers of God's word that stretched back to the Old Testament and included the church fathers. Melanchthon noted that the light of the gospel could be seen more brightly when Luther spoke than when others did. And while Luther could certainly be harsh, Melanchthon even cited Luther's opponent Erasmus, who said God gave this last age a sharp physician on account of its great sickness. <laughs>